G'day guys, it's uh, Ashton Cartwright here. What we're going to do is very simple uh, formatting for a ebook that's going up on Amazon Kindle. Uh, I've got the files here, this is from an author I'm publishing at the moment. Uh, the book is called Exercise A Beginner's Guide. So I'm going to just pull it up here. Ta da! Um, I haven't really had a chance to look through this. Um, but lots of the files I get sent by authors are not formatted properly for what we're going to do. Um, they tend to add a lot of things. Yeah, I can see them here. Like they've got tab here, this little symbol is a tab, and stuff like that that doesn't come out well on Kindle because if you're reading on a Kindle on a phone or on a computer or on the various types of Kindle, tab for, so, uh, formatting and stuff can appear different. So that's not much use to us, so we'll have to strip that. I'll start from the beginning though. So what we're going to do is, very first thing when you're formatting, is I'm using our uh, most recent version of Microsoft Word. And up the top there's this little thing here, which is the Show Hide button. Uh, this means you can see stuff that's invisible. So you can see uh, spacebar, you can see enter, you can see page break, things like this, all stuff that you'll need to be aware of. So we're going to hit that first. So you can see this symbol up here. That means uh, an enter. Um, and in between each of the words, it's probably a bit too small for you to see, but there's little, little dots, which are spacebars. And that just means we don't miss out on any information that wouldn't be visible to the eye, but that the computer would be reading. Like here, we've got tabs again as well. These little arrows are tabs. I'm going to strip a lot of that stuff out. All right, so first off, we've got it set as size 12 um, font. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, mainly for you guys who can see, you can see it a little bit better as I adjust stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a section that's just a normal part of the words and change it up to 14 here. Whoop. And then to make that change across the board, we're going to right click up here under the home uh, tab and right click normal, say update normal to match the selection. So we've said for well, these words to be size 14 font, we're going to update all of the words that are currently registered as normal sizing to be that. That just changes the whole thing for us. All right, so we'll start from the beginning. Uh, this is an exercise book by Matthew White, and Matthew White has put various funky little things. At the start, he's got just massive font. Um, we're going to make that normal because when it's finished, uh, we, we don't want it that all these different fonts and things like that. Kindle has its own default fonts, and people can change the fonts on their Kindle. So if you get too carried away with special fonts, it's, it's kind of pointless, and it can often adversely affect the upload. Uh, here we've got, you see, it's just put in a list of chapters, um, but they're not links. We need them done in a special way so that they link to the right spot. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to rip all that out as well, just deleting that. And here we go. This is the start. So, chapter one, introduction to fitness. Uh, for all the chapter headings, we're going to select heading one over here. Now, that is that makes it look a specific way, and we can change that by adjusting the size and things like that. We can make it bigger or smaller. Um, by selecting heading one up here, it actually puts a, like a bookmark into the, the source code, so that when we create a, a table of contents, it'll automatically create the links to where we need it to go. Okay, so this is going to be heading one. And heading one currently is set as this tiny little blue writing. We're going to leave it blue, but I'm going to make it a bit bigger because 
for chapter headings it's usually a touch better to have it this way all right so I'm gonna make that size and again we're going to right click on the heading update heading one to match selection so anything currently marked as heading one will change to this size now all right so here we've got introduction to fitness as like a subtitle we don't need that we've got that chapter heading here already all this is fine uh, now we're going to move these out these are a few dot points if we hide the show hide thing we've got tabs between these sometimes they can come out not great um, Amazon doesn't really like them so what we're going to do is probably just strip them out uh, we can make these bold is always fine once you get rid of the, the space bars being visible you can see it's quite easy to read that um, now they are indented here as well if we're going to do that we have to do it a special way so I'll show you how we change that but for this sort of a book it's probably best not to even bother with indenting um, again because if you're reading on your phone and it's indented an inch on a Kindle it's not a huge problem but if you're reading on a smartphone or an iPhone or something like that it may be indented halfway across the screen so it's best to sort of leave it as simple as possible generally okay again we can see here there's like extra carriage returns or enter buttons enter enter and we're going to strip those out because we don't want too many uh, one enter in a row is plenty for our purposes Right, we've got a few things here like this is the start of a, a new section so we'll bold that where to begin bold that okay here is another this should be a chapter but it's not set as a chapter heading it's just set as the bold up here or a strong setting so we're going to make that heading one uh, and this is like a subheading I'm going to make that normal and just bold it. Alright, again, we've got a little section here. Uh, we'll bold that, but again, we don't really want to have it indented. Microsoft Word will automatically do indents if you start doing lists. Um, we're just going to undo that. Da, 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 da. Sweet, looks good. All right, next chapter again. Uh, we'll make this row heading one. For types of training is a subheading. So I'll just make that normal formatting. So I just click on normal up here. Now, why are you blue? You shouldn't be blue at all. All right, well, we'll just make you normal. What's it done? All right, so we've got this just as bold. We've got this saying size 14 for some reason. All right, we're just going to change it to 14. If you've written the book yourself, chances are there won't be as much of this sort of fiddling around you'll need to do. But um, a lot of the stuff we get sent from authors has these sorts of things. Again, we've got another chapter heading here. It's already set on heading one, so that's good. Chapter 5, already set on heading 1 up here, so that's good. Okay, now stretching exercises doesn't have a chapter number at the start, so I think he's intending that to be a subheading, but he's just pressed the heading 1 button uh, for whatever reason. So what we're going to do is just change it back to normal and make it bold. 
So that's that's plenty for our purposes. Doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to match the the chapter headings. All right, that one's good. Again, subheading. We're just going to make it normal and bold it. Um, again, this is another one that's set as a heading. But not. I apologise if this part is getting a little boring. This is a formatting a Kindle book is never going to be the most exciting part of writing or publishing or marketing or making money online or any of these things. But it's like it's like brushing your teeth. It's uh it's not hugely exciting, but you really need to do it. If you don't do it, you don't get the uh, benefit of healthy chompers. Now this whole section here, again we've got indented. I really don't like them. Um, I really don't like them. So we've got to be consistent and pull them out everywhere. We've got to all mo all automatically format. So we want to undo that. Oh, poo. come on. Why are you being so fiddly? Alright, well that's going to make me look quite silly in this here video. But we shall survive. different uh, muscle sections here. I'm going to bold those as well. In. Do, do, do. All right, so that's that sorted. three sections here. Sweet. Alright, again chapter heading. It's already heading one which is good. Um, what we'll do is after we finish all the chapters we'll go through and make each of them start on a new page. Um, starting just on the uh, on, on the very top of the page so if uh, so that it looks crisp at the start of each chapter basically. Got some asterisks in here which are not at all relevant, so we'll get rid of them. None of that. Alright. Looking good. So, that is the base formatting sorted. We're now just going to go through and have each of these chapters start on a new page. Uh, so, we're going to press uh, control enter which inserts, I'll make it visible again, it inserts page break so just undo it so you can see it happen uh, so we want control enter wink. that creates this invisible page break, you can only see if you've got the show hide uh, button going Oop. there we go so chapter one down here control enter 
don't know quite what I'm doing here. It's not uh, oh, those couple of tabs. That's fine. Control Enter. And again down here. For some reason, when I do it this way, it adds an extra carriage return, another Enter button. Just delete one of those, and then that'll that'll sit there fine. Control Enter. Last chapter, control enter. Alright. Now what we're going to do is add the title page. So exercise, a beginner's guide by Matthew White. That's the title page. We'll fix up the formatting for that in a moment. Go to the next page and add a copyright. Now I've already got a copyright just a default copyright here. I've already written up. So I will just copy and paste that into here. Um, this copyright uh, is just a pretty standard one. If you wanna if you want to use this copyright for your own books, you're more than welcome. Uh, there'll be a link below to it uh, where you can find it on paidauthor.com, which is a website I'm uh, working on with some other people. So that's fine there. We're going to do another control enter for another new page. And here we're going to add a table of contents. Now this is the way that Amazon likes table of contents to be created. It's reasonably straightforward. So first type uh, table of contents. Press enter once, and then we go to references up here up top. Table of contents, custom table of contents. We unselect show page numbers because Kindle doesn't use page numbers. Down here, show levels will be like subheadings, and it's sitting at show levels three. That's the default. We're going to change that to one because we want them all on the same. Level. Okay, you'll see it's put in a hyperlink for the start of each chapter. Pretty cool. Uh, only other thing we need to do regarding the table of contents is we select the words table of contents. This is something else that Amazon insists you must have. And we are adding a bookmark, which is in, let me see here, uh, insert. So we got to insert at this tab up top. Bookmark. I'm going to do bookmark TOC, short for table of contents. And lowercase TOC is what Amazon has as its automated find the start of your table of contents. So if you don't have it there, they often can't find it. So it doesn't work for the Kindle return to home and things like that. So we're going to put that in there. Uh, now for the title page, we'll just center that right in the middle and we are done that is a book all formatted for Kindle hope that's uh, been of some help if you have any queries hit me up on either the Facebook page which I'll list down there for the paid author Facebook page or the paid author website thanks very much for watching